tonight. From some... Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. And the opening kickoff will not be returned, as that will be a touchback. For the Buffalo offense coming out, and it is Josh Allen who is at the helm. And there was a positive in last week's loss. No interceptions thrown by him, but he only threw one touchdown pass, and you know he wants that to improve. He might even consider that it's part of the reason that they couldn't take the win last time out. I believe we'll see a more aggressive version of him this week whenever they're nearing the end zone. Now a stoppage here as we've got a bill shaken up on the play. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Play action, now it's Allen. Man open downfield as Diggs, he's got it. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 38. On play action, Allen. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. Khalil Shakir, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Bills march right down the field in three plays to claim the early advantage. Extra point up and good by Suckup. And that makes the score 7-0. Scoring summary. Three-play drive. And it was all polished off with a Khalil Shakir touchdown catch. This will be fielded inside the five. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Here are the Chargers ready to go on offense, led by their first-round pick in 2020. The man out of Oregon, Justin Herbert. And I'll bet he's talking to his guys about resisting the temptation to try and turn this into an up-and-down game, almost like basketball, where both teams press, and one team gets an advantage, our team's trying to run with them, and they're just not equipped for it. Doesn't matter whether you're equipped or not, just settle in, get calm before you go for the big strikes. We take a look at his numbers on the ground last week. Pretty good as he found himself in the end zone on two separate occasions. And those are the most important numbers because no matter what you pile up prior to the goal line, getting in is all that matters. Putting those numbers up on the board, and they love them when they're sixes. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Herbert now. And he whips that one incomplete there. The Chargers at 2-1 and one now to start the campaign. And they were looking good until last week's loss took them from the ranks of the unbeaten. Yeah, I don't think anyone was expecting this team to push the 72 Dolphins, but still... You got to take a lot of positives from this first month. If they can bounce back and move to 3-1, they'll be pretty well set up for the remainder of the season to follow. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. He finds his man, complete. That's McKinney. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. They'll run for it with Eckler. And I'm not sure he got there. Did they stop him? They did. He needed a yard. He didn't get anything. And the Bills are going to get the fo football back. And now the red flag out on the field. We'll have a challenge forthcoming.
The thing that they'll be looking at is a spot of the football, and uh, this is always such a tough one for officials to get exactly right. Not just because of how fast the game's going, but just trying to get the right sight line to the football, that's not always easy. We'll see. So not successful there on the challenge, and he'll have to be careful from here on out because he'll only have one challenge remaining. The pass there over the middle to start things out. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. On the ground, this is Rashad Penny. Two yards, good enough for first. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. Allen off the play fake. And that's complete to Swain. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. And something we're seeing more of with a rise of the run pass option. A legal man downfield, and that's going to back him up. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Now Allen. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. And that's good for a gain of six. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. And Charles, of interest here, that last throw is going to put him over 20,000 yards passing for his career. And that's not a bad number. You're exactly right about that. And even though it's nowhere near the top of the leaderboard, because when you think about it, Brady and Breeze, they've done that four times over. But when you hit 20,000, let's face it, only a little over 100 guys have ever done that in the NFL. It's worthy of some applause. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. A kind of a lucky break on the prior drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the offense had didn't come back to bite them after the other side, their defense came through, was able to hold them without any points. I would agree with you, partner. A little bit of a lucky break indeed, but you know what they'd say to us. No luck, just pure skill. We rose to the challenge, and we didn't permit a score. That's how we roll. Well, I'm kind of curious, Charles, if they might temper their aggressiveness now offensively if they get in that fourth down spot again. Yeah, one would think so, but maybe because they held them, they might go for it again. And he powers his way up past the 30. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. Back-to-back -back four yard runs. Now look, if they just do that all the way down, field ball ends up in the end zone, but that's a little difficult to do. Yeah, I think now third and two, that defense ready to stiffen up and stop that run. And yeah, that will be incomplete. Looks like a second empty possession to start the game, and certainly not the way you want to start when you come in off of a loss last week. Every team talks about starting fast. They're hoping on their next possession, it can be a delayed fast start and get them going. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And the Bills are going to take over in excellent field position. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Allen. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll be forced out of bounds shy of the line of scrimmage. So that'll be credited as a sack. Throwing again on second down. Allen. That one to Swain complete. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. They haven't made much of this great starting field position they had. Here's third and six. Here's Allen to throw it. Flush to his right. Gets by him at the 25. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Certainly not a positive sign if you're the D coordinator and you see your guys give up that space so early in the game. 
third down, that's when the clamps are supposed to come out. But his ability to create things with his legs makes things difficult. And now the throw here is incomplete. And with that, we come to the end of the first quarter of play. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Allen now looks to throw. The left side caught by Diggs. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14, before he's out of bounds. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Buying time to his left. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. The Charger D making things difficult, and it's fourth down. Now Ryan Suckup will come on and try the field goal. From the left hash, a 31-yard attempt. Suckup's kick is good, and the Bills will add on to their lead. So that one on target, and it adds to this first-half lead. And maybe we're too early to worry too much about one score lead, two score lead, et cetera. But this is where you kind of start banking those points that come in helpful later on. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Charger drive about to get going. And they're coming off a fourth down gamble that last drive that backfired CD, but really not as badly as it could. Their defense held up and only gave up three points. And what they want to do is play off the momentum the defense gave them. Only giving up the three points in that situation after they failed on fourth down. Now they want to make it pay off. They want to pay homage to the defense and have their own drive pay off the points for themselves. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. the play fake to Eckler it's Herbert and it's a leaping effort but it's knocked away and incomplete that's pretty nice to watch as he matched the route with the receiver and stayed right there stuck to him like glue almost hip to hip shoulder to shoulder helped force the incompletion and that falls to the ground incomplete a nice job of bodying him up defensively and now it brings up third down To the air again, Herbert. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. That's Gregory Rousseau getting in there to bring him down. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense. So he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Here we go on fourth. Herbert. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with a football. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And it'll be a turnover on downs. Here's Allen on first and ten. And this caught left side by the tight end Parham. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and ten. Penny, a first down carry. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Two yards on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Now they'll run it again with Penny. And he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. Okay, he didn't break that one all the way, but you got to know that he feels like he's right on the verge, and that's probably exactly what he's telling him in the huddle right now. Allen looks to throw on third and one. The quick slant caught. And the Bills are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. Penny. Will score. Touchdown, Buffalo. 
That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. It is fielded right at the goal line. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you don't down. Want to. No, but oh, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you now just you called it. I think you just called a desperation time. I, I think did. you did. But yeah. let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating to use a boxing analogy. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. They'll try the air now with Herbert. Oh, a leap, and he will make the catch. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And he will get enough for a first down, and that will lead us to the two-minute warning. Justin Herbert looking to pass. It's caught on the right side. Williams. Touchdown. Mike Williams from six yards away. And the Chargers are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. An excellent, long, sustained offensive drive. And now they can look across the field and see a defense that looks a little bit beaten down. Right now as an offensive coordinator, you're thinking to yourself, can I dial up the knockout punch? Evan McPherson now for the PAT. And it's 17-7. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And in the end, it was Mike Williams who capped the drive with a touchdown reception. Stevenson elects not to return it. It's a touchback. Back now on offense, the Buffalo Bills. They have been red hot, sometimes white hot here in this first half. They're just looking to add to that total right now. And this has to serve as a reminder to myself because so many times I get wrapped up in the play calling, how they've sequenced things, how it's run. But you know, at the end of the day, it's still execution. Those guys out on the field, and right now they are locked in and really looking good. They'll try to continue to be locked in here as we get ready to approach halftime. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Now Allen going to give it to Moss. And nothing doing here is this time the run maybe gets him back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Penny. And he'll lose yardage here. Back to the 15. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. The Bills send the punter out as the drive goes bay. That's taken at around the 40. They'll call this a 41-yard punt, seven on the return. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. 
Austin Eckler and the Charger offense reclaim center stage. First month of the season, those numbers pretty solid. Does he continue that? I think so, because when you come out of the gate this strong, that means that you have planned for it and you like the results that you're getting. So I wouldn't have any doubt that the head coach, offensive coordinator, actually called in to, and called him in and said, look, you're our guy, okay? We're going to continue to stick with this as long as we're winning games. You ready for the challenge? And then they presented it to the rest of the team. I think we'll see plenty of that as this season moves on. And I'm sure he said challenge accepted. So third down now. They need the 27-yard line for a first. Now it's Herbert. Flushed out right. And a pretty nice tackle there. Ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. Now Herbert got to get him to the line in a hurry. Now back to throw. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Bills taking the lead to the locker room. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan. And we'll jump right over halftime and keep the game going here in week four. Second half kickoff, ready to go. This will be fielded inside to five. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Out comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. On the first half, they struggled a little bit to keep pace offensively, CD, down two scores here. So how do they make some changes coming out of the locker room? Well, they've studied what they did in the first half. They've seen what the defense is throwing at them. Now they want to have a plan of attack against it. So you come out, you're not going to get all the points back on one drive. But get started on it. Start chopping into that lead, and maybe it'll inspire your defense to help out as well. Play action. It's Herbert. Steps away. And he fires one incomplete. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable. And that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat. And if he flushes out, they're fine with that. And they force another incompletion. Well, that one sailed a bit, but the catch is still made. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 25-yard line. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. Running on first down, Eckler. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. At the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to help feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. 84 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he'll throw this one away. I don't think he's out of the pocket, no. Here comes the flag. Uh, we saw it, too. Nobody in the vicinity of that throw, and that earns him the penalty. Yeah, you've got to at least get it close enough to one of your own guys in order to dodge the penalty. They lose the yardage, and, of course, they also lose the down on the grounding call, and it's quickly second and long. Herbert's throw going into the hands of Williams. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Herbert. And yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down, as that was not an easy one to hold on to. McPherson's kick is good. And they're back within a touchdown. It's 17 to 10. So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission, and at least they're able to get the field goal to cut into that deficit. 
Yeah, now your offense feels pretty good about itself, right? A little bit more up to speed coming out of the break. You turn to your defense now and say, hey, we got three there. We're chipping into the lead. Can you help us out? Hold them. Let's get the ball back for us. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They'll start on the ground. It's Rashad PR gain up to the 26. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. To throw, it's Allen. They'll find Everett there, complete. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. Well, Charles, sometimes we talk about the lengths officials sometimes go to to protect star quarterbacks, but that one, that was tough to argue against. Yeah, and I'm sure that everyone's going to say, hey, we're going to administer the penalty the same way for all quarterbacks. But when it's a star back there, even more so are they going to be diligent about throwing the flag. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Again, it's Penny. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing is Allen on third. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Throwing now is Allen. There's Stephon Diggs for the catch on the slant. Touchdown, Bills! Stephon Diggs, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Bills go up by two touchdowns. Extra point put through by Suckup, and the lead now up to 14. A drive that time of six plays. And it's finished off by the touchdown by Stephon Diggs. Now it's Ryan Suckup on after the touchdown to kick it away. Taken in at the three. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. End with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you've met fan bases that wanted that. <laughs> they weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants a drive to end with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Herbert off a of play action. Williams brings it in. And he's brought down. A play fake, and now Herbert to throw. And that would not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now a pass hauled in downfield. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. That one good for 26 and a first down. Herbert operating from the red zone. Rolling to his right. Yeah, he's got it. Touchdown, Chargers. Keenan Allen from 17 yards out. And the Chargers have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away.
Stevenson elects not to return it. It's a touchback. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and ten. They begin with a run by Penny. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards. It moves the sticks. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. And meanwhile, Allen's throw complete to Shakir. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Here's second and a yard. Inside handoff, Penny, and he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Allen going to throw. He's got his man. That's Everett, the tight end. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 23. They go back to the ground now with Penny. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. On play action, Allen. His throw caught at about the five. And the Bills are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. Now Allen. Forced out to his left. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. They'll wind up losing three yards there on the play as that'll lead to a second and goal. To the air, Allen. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Here's Hallett. Escaping the pressure right. And that is incomplete. But the pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. So some pressure now on the kicker, Ryan Suckup. This to perhaps salt this one away. Suckup's kick is good. And the Bills will add on to their lead. So that one, CD, going to make the road back a lot more difficult. Oh, there's no doubt about that. You know they were praying on the other sideline for a miss because now, as you pointed out, a very difficult road. Down two scores. You don't just need a touchdown. You need a chain of events to go your way. You've got to score, somehow get the ball back, and score again. The odds of that happening, not great in your favor. The Charger drive about to get going. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit words, too, because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Herbert. 
And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. Fourth down for Herbert, desperation time. And this is caught by Williams. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. He finds his man complete. That's McKinney. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. It'll go down as a gain of six. And it'll be second down. Throwing Herbert. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. And this is caught for a touchdown. So hang on now. Things just got a little bit more interesting here in the final minute. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side. Get that high hop. Game ready. No doubt about it. To the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. It's a squibber picked up around the 27. And they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And this game not quite in hand yet. We'll likely see all three timeouts defensively and then reassess where we are. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. And the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. On second down, here's Penny. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. As the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. The heavy set out there. Three tight ends in the formation for third and three. They'll try to run for it with Penny. And he is going to have the first down. And that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. As he'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. And they'll indeed take a knee. And there it is, the standard symbol, taking a knee means that one team won and the other one obviously lost the ball game. But now that team that won is two and two. After the first four games, I think they're okay with a two and two start. Not overly happy, but at the same time, not depressed either. You mentioned to me breaking down a season in quadrants. So the first quadrant is kind of a, a check, as you said, for okay. Not great, not bad. Yeah, right now they're just holding serve. They look forward to their next four. Maybe they can make a surge there. So it's a victory here for the Buffalo Bills. So they came in here facing a very tall task going against the NFL's number one ranked defense, but they got the job done. Charles, really an outstanding performance. They certainly showed that they weren't going to be intimidated, didn't they? They took out the best defense in the NFL today, took it right to them, and that's against a 